Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekhah Kodash, and um, also as well, uh, double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone that continue to grow very well to this very day. That is our uh, feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, and also as well, uh, Shalom to the whole elect as well that's continually laboring his work. And um, also do continue to labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith, in truth and sincerity, and also in all charity. Now, uh, the topic of this video is going to be entitled, Look for Your Shepherd. Okay, look for your shepherd, in which uh, the shepherd that we are seeking after is our Lord and Savior. Who these people anyway they call Jesus, in which his true name in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, in which uh, is the uh, the one whom we follow, because you know there are uh, you know the shepherd's duty is to take the oversight over the sheep, all right. In which uh, Yahweh Shai has done that while he was in the flesh. And he also continues to do that to this very day. And the Lord also has appointed um, other shepherds or ones who he has appointed over the uh, flock to look after and to continue to feed. And that's why the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone are in the position that they are today because through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmel Shai, um, they have been given the task to take the oversight over the flock. And then, likewise, you have the ones who also follow in the footsteps of the apostles to also do the same thing and to um, take the oversight and to feed the flock. So, with but that role being given over to the men of the Lord, you know, we have a certain duty to fulfill. You know, just how uh, Yahweh Shai had a certain duty to fulfill, you know, because again, you know, we're following in his footsteps. You know, we're following in that same spirit to our uh, feed the flock. Okay. But um, Yahweh Shai being the forerunner of uh, things to come. In which the things which he have done, you know, um, he is known as the uh, the chief of the shepherds or the chief shepherd. Okay, because all things started with him, and all things will end by him. That's why he's known as the uh, the author and the finisher of our faith. Okay, and um, he's also known as the uh, the Alpha and Omega. Okay, the beginning and the end. Okay, so that's why again, like the title says, you know, look for your shepherd. Okay, and there's more to that title. Um, if I may, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop right into the precepts. I'll slide you. This is the book of uh, Second Ezra, uh, chapter two, and verse. Uh, let's see, it's like it. Yeah, verse thirty-four. It says, "And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand." Right, in which uh, when it speaks about uh, the heathen, or when it says, "O ye heathen." That hear and understand talking about us okay because at one point you know we had no idea that we were Israelites okay until we heard this word okay that's why it says uh, oh ye heathen that hear and understand okay because when we were in a uh, heathen like mentality 
while being here in Babylon the Great. You know, the Lord has given us uh, the spirit to be able to hear and to understand these words. Okay. That's why uh, the scriptures deem the ones who are not a part of the circle as being uh, heathen men. Okay. Uh, Read on. It says, uh, look for your shepherd. Okay. And by the way, that word shepherd is capitalized. Okay. We'll let you know that's talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay. Now it says here, it says, uh, he shall give you everlasting rest. For he is not at hand that shall come in the end of the world. Right. And we're at the end of the world. Okay. So our shepherd, which is Yahweh Shai, is going to give us everlasting rest from this captivity and from the hard bondage that we're suffering here in Babylon the Great. Because like it says here, it says he is not at hand. Okay. Uh, verse 35, it says, uh, be ready to the reward of the kingdom for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Okay. So when the shepherd appears, which is Yahweh Shai, he's going to give us everlasting rest and he's going to give us the reward of the kingdom. Okay. And an everlasting light. All right. And that light represents uh, this wisdom. Okay. This wisdom and knowledge has been given unto us, which is uh, this light right now is shining on the ones who hear and understand. You know, we, we are lights that are navigating through Babylon the Great, through this land of darkness. Okay. And the elect of the nation of Israel is coming towards that light. All right. Because they're seeking refuge from the darkness. Because within this darkness, there's nothing but weirdos, <laughs> you know, just called like it is. Okay. And they're seeking safety. And this is where the safety is. Okay. Uh, and move on from there. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 2. It says, feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint. But willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Okay, and that's a commandment to feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you. Okay, so again, like I said at the beginning of the video, you know, there's a certain duty that comes to receiving this word. And once you receive this word, you know, that, that duty is put upon you to do the work. Okay, if you have a knowledge and a message. That's been given unto you through the spirit and power of Yahweh about Shemel Shai. You know, you would do well to uh, distribute that message and to take on the task of delivering that message. That's why this word is known as the gospel. And the gospel is uh, the definition of, of gospel means the good news. So we have been given the task to deliver this good news. To the ones who are currently right now having a bad day, who are the elect, the ones who are signing and crying for all the abominations that are here in Babylon the Great. Okay. Uh, Read 9 verse 3 it says, Neither as being lords over the Most High's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. Right? And in samples mean to be an example. Okay. So we are neither to be. Lords over his his heritage, right? But we want to be examples unto the flock, okay? For the time being, while Yahweh Shai is in the spirit world, uh, waiting on the command of the Most High, Yahweh, okay? Uh, verse 4, it says, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, and who's the chief shepherd that is talking about? Or again, that, that the shepherd is capitalized, right? The, the S in uh, the word shepherd is capitalized, okay? It says that when the chief shepherd shall appear, which the chief shepherd is talking about, Yahweh Shai, okay? It says, ye shall receive a crown of glory 
that fadeth not away. Okay, so when the chief shepherd appear, which is uh, Yahweh Shai returning to establish the kingdom, we're going to receive a crown of glory that is never going to fade away. In other words, that's going to be in our everlasting kingdom. Okay, an everlasting kingdom that's never going to fade away. So in other words, we're going to rule continually. It's going to be a continuous rule. Okay. And that rulership is going to last for eternity. And it's never going to fade away. Okay. We're going to, we're, we're right now, we're approaching an era of where it's going to be a continual righteousness. Okay. And the nation of Israel is no longer going to suffer underneath the, the penalty of transgressing the words of Yahweh Bashim Rashai. Okay. But, uh, let's lock it. Okay. Let me grab uh, this last precept. I'm going to close it out on this. Let's go to John chapter 10. And um, verse 3. It says, uh, To him, the porter openeth and the sheep hear his voice and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out okay so right now the sheep is hearing the voice of Yahweh Bashmel Shai and it also says here that he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out okay uh, verse 4 says and when he put it forth his own sheep he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him. Right. So, again, Yahweh Shai being a forerunner of things to come, you know, he's already, he's already set that example on what to do. Okay. So before us, he he went before us to show us the way. Okay. And it says here, and the sheep follow him. So right now we're following the footsteps of Yahweh Shai. Read on. It says, for they know his voice. Okay, and that voice represents this word. Okay, and this word again is being distributed by the way of the men with whom he have appointed to do this. Okay, uh, verse five it says, "And a stranger will they not follow?" Right, and and there's been numerous of other self-proclaimed shepherds to claim that. You know that they've been anointed and they know this word but guess what the elect are not following them okay because it's the voice of a stranger okay because the voice of a stranger is not gonna it, the, the, the voice that they're putting out is the voice of another doctrine which is not according to this word so, of course, the elect, they're not going to follow that uh, the voice of a stranger. Okay. Uh, Renan says, but we'll flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Right. And, uh, because the, the elect is not going to follow the voice of strangers, like I said. Okay. You know, this, this modern day uh, Christianity, you know, that that's a strange voice. Okay. That that's not lining in with the the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yom Shai, and neither neither is, is it lining up with this word. Okay. Verse six it says uh, this parable spake Yahweh Shai unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Uh, then then said Yahweh Shai unto them again, verily verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. See that? So the Lord Yahweh Shai is, is the door of the sheep. Okay. And the sheep are being led to the to the door. Okay. And the elect have walked through that door, which is again Yahweh Shai. Okay, so this lets you know that the only way 
to receive this reward, which is spoken about within the scriptures, is to go through Yahweh Shai. That's the only way. That's why these are guys who, you know, speak about only the Old Testament can deliver you and exile Yahweh Shai completely. You know, they, they got a lot of blood on their hands. <laughs> okay. And they're going to be responsible for closing off the access to the Most High Yahweh. Okay, because they have not gone through Yahweh Shai. All right. Now, um, go down a little bit. This is at verse 11. It says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd, whose, whose own the sheep are not, see if the wolf cometh, and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. And... You know, you have hirelings that that do that. Okay, they see the wolf come in, which that the wolf represents uh, Esau, Edom, which is the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man. When they see the wolf coming, they're just gonna leave the sheep high and dry, and they're gonna flee, and the sheep is gonna be left vulnerable for that wolf to come and catch them. All right. Uh, let's see, slot you. Yeah, I'm going to read uh, a little bit more. And then I'll close it out. Uh, verse 13, it says, The hireling fleeth because he is an hireling and careth not for the sheep. I am a good shepherd and know my sheep and known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And, and that's exactly what Yahweh did. Okay? He laid his life down for the sheep so that the sheep can enter in and to rest. Like I said, Yahweh was the forerunner, and he finished the work. Okay? So now, likewise, as we are following the footsteps, we are to finish the work as well. Okay? verse 16 it says and other sheep I have which are not of this fold them also I must bring and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd right and this is uh, going into the time when Yahweh Shai when he said there are other sheep which I have which are not of this fold that's when Yahweh Shai uh, left that part of the world and if you can receive it uh, came over uh, to the Americas Okay, but this was after he uh, he ascended. Okay, that's why you have uh, the northern tribes. They worship uh, they worship what is known as a uh, Quetzalcoatl, if I'm pronouncing it right, which is uh, deemed as a flying serpent. Okay, and they also uh, tell tales. Of a, of a savior okay which lets you know that Yahweh Shai visited them and that's why he said that he has other sheep which are not of his fold that he must bring okay so all in all you know the chief shepherd which is being Yahweh Shai is uh, going to return to claim the sheep all right and to protect the sheep like i said the, the job of the shepherd is to take the oversight over the sheep okay so when that time comes you know the lord is going to call up his sheep okay and uh, and, and we're going to be delivered which lord's will we're a part of that fold okay so, like I said at the beginning of the video, well, like uh, the title says, is look for your shepherd. Okay? Because we have our shepherd. And these other nations try to claim that Yahweh Shai is their shepherd as well. And we're, you know, he's, he's not their shepherd. Okay? Because, like it says at the beginning, of uh, the book of Matthew 
it says that uh, Yahweh Shah was set, set up to save his people. Okay? His people being the Israelites. All right? Because that's who the Lord is concerned with right now. He's always been concerned with the Israelites. All right? But in particular, the Lord is only dealing with the elect in this time. Because the elect are the ones who are that sheep that hear his voice. Okay? So, uh, with that, I'm going to go and close it on that note. And our Lord's will. This is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Until next time, once again, I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim El-Shai. Ba'ashim Ha'kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone. They continue to rule very well to this very day. Shalom. Peace and safety. Salutations to the whole elect. As um, also following the footsteps of Yahweh Shai, continuing to labor in his work. Uh, continuing to feed the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim El-Shai. In faith, in true sincerity, and also in all charity. And with that, goes to Shalom.